One Act Play The origin of the One Act Play is found in the early Mystery and Miracle Plays. It was popular during the early 15th century. With the development of the regular play, the one-act play gradually disappeared from the stage, only to reappear in the form of farce in 18th and 19th century. The one-act play used to be performed as a curtain raiser, before the regular play. Sir James Barry and G. B. Sure popularized this form. Barry's one-act play like The Well, The Twelve Pound Look, and the old lady shows her medals are the fine examples of one-act play. George Bernard Shaw also produced some fine one-act plays. His plays The Man of Destiny and The Dark Lady of the Sonnets are quite noteworthy. The one-act plays were performed generally by amateur dramatic societies as they required less expenditure than the regular plays. In the modern days, one-act plays have become very popular because of limited time at the disposal of the spectators. It is wrong to suppose that the one-act play is easier to write than the full-length play. Perhaps, the artistic difficulties are greater in the presentation of the one-act play. What a short story is to a novel, one-act play is to a drama. It is different from a drama because it has its own laws and limitations. It requires a great skill on the part of the playwrights to write one-act play. He has to manage everything in the development of the play, delineation of characters and the climax within a span of limited time. Thus, it naturally follows the classical conventions of time, place, and action. One-act play specializes in dialogues. Each sentence must contribute something because the one-act play cannot afford the luxury of spacious full-length play. Brevity is the soul of one-act play. Though one-act play was short yet they do not lack in any quality like fun, gravity, subtlety, and poetic scheme. Many one-act plays of Barry and Shaw have nobility and brevity. Simplicity of structure and immediate effect are the qualities on which the success of one-act play depends. A. W. Pinheiro and Anton Chekhov have also produced fine one-act plays. A. W. Pinheiro's The Second Mrs. Tanqueray and Iris are famous plays. In brief, the one-act play needs great skill on the part of the playwright. Please, subscribe Literature Guide.